when you're sick, it's it's the best. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Bob. Hey. Hey, Bob. Hello. Merry Christmas. Bob. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Bob. What? How are you doing? Better. Much are better. You? It Yay. was it was a little confusing because I had bronchitis before I got COVID. Oh, so wow. which one is the cough from? Right. So I couldn't get the fancy Paxlovid medicine oh. um, because they didn't know it has to be within the beginning days of symptoms. Oh, um, I've had symptoms for three weeks. Oh, so Michelle got it, though, M Michelle, and she's doing much better. Oh, that's good. And medicine. Uh, so sorry if I interrupted anything. No, oh, no. But all right. You got in just in time to the talk uh well it was interesting i the other day i stumbled across the old video christmas pageant from 2020 with the um yeah. when we videoed the whole thing mm -hmm. and oh it's most of it still works um, <laughs> and of course the music and we had live sheep that year it was fun the footage of that and uh nancy volbrick singing and uh um nice. little lambs and it was just <laughs> i have no idea how to share that with anybody but um yeah. uh, anyway yeah. Yeah. that was a beautiful it was beautiful uh, bob you did a nice job on that yeah well i had to teach myself how to be a video editor <laughs> also <laughs> okay zoomers we're we're live on facebook now we're gonna get ready to go here yeah I'm it's four o'clock and
Welcome to Redeemer United Church of Christ, located in Sussex, Wisconsin. I'm Katherine Richardson, and I'm the liturgist for tonight. Please take a minute to fill out the who's where in the chair, either online or in person, and we appreciate you connecting with us today. Here at Redeemer, we are learning to love more. Our pastor is the Reverend Julie Eklund, and tonight we celebrate Christmas Eve. We begin this evening with a light ritual. Welcome, friends, to this special night when we celebrate the birth of Jesus. This year, in this church, we have been spending time preparing for this night by becoming more present. You can see we have many presents here in the sanctuary. Being surrounded by them all Advent long has helped us be inspired to be more present, to be ourselves, to each other, and to God. It all started with the idea that we can spend a lot of time worrying about finding the perfect Christmas gifts. Deep down, we want people in our lives to know they are special and that we love them. But sometimes we overlook the greatest gift of all, our very presence. Relationship is the most needed gift in our world. Loneliness and isolation is, according to some experts, the, quote, pandemic of our time. So no matter how able you are to offer gifts that this world considers valuable, really what we need the most is simply to be with. That is what one of the names of, for Jesus, Emmanuel, means God with us. And this is the best gift of all. survival tool because it reminds us that the hard times do not have the last word. The gift of Christ's peace reminds us that we can have peace even in the midst of non-peaceful situations. And tonight we 
celebrate the presence of the light among us. I invite you to stand as you are comfortable and face the light as it comes into our midst from the back. Let us pray together. Holy living God, you are our light. Let this light grow in our lives each day so we can be a present of light to others. Unwrap and open our hearts. May it be so. Amen. Please join in singing our gathering song, Star Child. See? 
And now it's time for a child in all of us. If we have any little ones that want to come up. Hello. Oh, lots of red. It is a Christmas color. All right. Welcome. Welcome to this very, very special night. Christmas Eve. I know that you're probably thinking a lot about presents. Anyone thinking about presents? No, sort of, yes. Has anyone opened a present yet? Yeah, a few, a few. Well, have you noticed any presents around here? Yeah. Yes, there's a big lighted one this time, right? Very cool. We have been celebrating, what have we been doing, right? The gift of being presents, right? We have been coming presents, right? This whole time during Advent. And we are celebrating that the greatest gifts we can give are not found in a store, right? Or under the tree, or hidden in the closets, or wherever your parents hide them, right? The greatest gift we can give anyone, anytime is the gift of being ourselves that we can be present with each other, with one another, as just who we are. And this way, we are God's gift of being present. We are God's gifts of being present. I hope you're having a oh, hold on. Can you turn them on? I hope you're having a great day. I hope you'll enjoy this snack. I hope we can spend some time together. I hope we'll be friends for a long time. Would you like some uh, peace and quiet? I hope uh, you can get some peace of uh, mind. Give peace a change, a, a chance. Let, let everyone uh, live in peace. Let's jump for joy. You bring me joy. What would spark joy for you? I can do that with you. Want to hear a knock-knock joke? I love spending time with you. You are so amazing. I love that about you. I really care what happens to you. I love you and you and you. Wow, that was quite the entrance by our friends, the gifts. Let me introduce them to you. This is the gift of hope who urged us to use our imaginations to dream of and then work on a wonderful world for all people. This is the gift of peace who showed us a deep breath prayer to help us be peaceful on the inside so we can work on making peace on the outside. Oh, peace. This is the gift of joy, who taught us that this basic ingredient for life is available to us anytime, especially when we are sparkling joy for others. And this is the gift of love, who reminded us that love is unlimited and never runs out. But wait, but wait, there's more. Wow, how beautiful, what a gift. Who might you be? I am the gift of light, the light that shines the night, like the star in the sky, shining to show the way to baby Jesus in the manger. Ooh. I see it. Amazing, wow. We've been talking about how we are all a gift. Do you think we are all a gift of light too? Oh, why, yes, of course. After all, you light up my life. You give me hope and peace and joy and love to carry on. 
Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, it is so fun to be a gift because giving turns out to also be receiving. If you are opening gifts under your tree tonight or tomorrow, notice how good it feels not just to receive a gift, but also how wonderful it is to watch others receive the gifts you gave and then give the biggest gift of all, hugs all around. Wow, we do have a gift for you. Here is a gift that will light your way. Let it remind you that you are a gift of light in this world. But before I give you the gift, let's pray. Uh, can you help me pray? Yes, okay, ready. Dear God. Dear God. We thank you for the gift of Jesus. We thank you for the gift of Jesus. We thank you for the gift of light. We thank you for the gift of light. Help us be the gift of light. Help us be the gift of light. For anyone who needs it. For anyone who needs it. Amen. Amen. Thank you to my awesome gifts. Oh, here's your gift of light. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, Pastor Joe. You're welcome. You're welcome. And now let us sing. Uh, we're singing. Go tell it on the mountain. of the prophet Isaiah in the past few weeks as we begin to understand why we are called to be fully present with one another. Isaiah wrote in a time of occupation and exile of his people, and by the end of the book of Isaiah, the people have been freed. But the scripture we read tonight is toward the beginning of the book, and the people are scattered and afraid, feeling alone and despondent. Isaiah speaks what perhaps felt like an impossible prophetic word to remind the people that God is present with them always. Let us read responsively. The people walking in darkness 
are seen a brilliant light upon those who dwell in a land of deep shadows light is shining god you have made the nation greater you have brought them abundant joy they celebrate in your presence as with the harvest celebrations for a child is born to us an heir given us This one shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Strength of God, Eternal Protector, Champion of Peace. This dominion and this peace will grow without end, with David's throne and realm sustained with justice and fairness, now and forever. As we have considered the presence of God, we have encountered an image that winds itself through the scriptures, that of the gentle presence of the holy, holding us close as a shepherd holds a lamb. And tonight, the image of those shepherds who now, who know how to care deeply in each present moment with the flock are again at the center of the story. They are the ones who first hear the good news. And while the light initially frightens them, they run towards it, not away. Hear the story from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, Caesar Augustus published a decree ordering a census of the whole Roman world. This first consensus took place where Cornelius was governor of Syria. All the people were instructed to go back to the towns of their birth to register. And so Joseph went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to the city of David, Bethlehem, in Judah, because Joseph was one of the house of the lineage of David. He went to register with Mary, his espoused wife, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her delivery. She gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She put him in a simple cloth, wrapping him like a receiving blanket, and laid him in the feeding trough for cattle, because there was no room for them at the inn. There were shepherds in the area living in the fields and keeping night watch by turns over their flock. The angel of God appeared to them, and the glory of God shone around them. They were very much afraid. The angel said to them, You have nothing to fear. I come to proclaim good news to you news of a great joy to be shared by the whole people. 
Today in David's city, a savior, the Messiah has been born to you. Let this be a sign to you. You'll find an infant wrapped in simple cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly hosts with the angel, praising God and saying, glory to God in high heaven and on earth peace to those who come whom God favors rests. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go straight to Bethlehem and see this event that God has made known to us. They hurried and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. Once they saw this, they reported what they had been told concerning the child. All who heard about it were astonished at the report given by the shepherds. Mary treasured all of these things and reflected on them in her heart. The shepherds went away glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as they had been told.
opportunity to practice being fully present in the moment. Mindfulness has deep roots in our Judeo-Christian tradition. The scriptures say, be still and know that I am God. Prayer is an intentional way to sink deeply into the sense of the presence of God among us. I'd like to invite all of you into a quiet reflection of three questions, each followed by a short silence. Focusing intentionally on thoughts and memories can be a kind of prayer, bringing our lives into conversation with the holy. I invite you to take a deep breath and close your eyes if you are comfortable doing that. The first question is this. Who has been a gift of presence in your life? Whose presence feels like a holy gift for you? Take a moment to see their face or faces emerge in your mind's eye, like opening a gift. It may be a memory of someone or a present reality. The second question is this. In what ways do you try to offer yourself as a gift of presence? What does it feel like when you extend your attentiveness and availability beyond yourself? What difference does it make to someone else for you to be truly present to them? question is this. Is it possible that God's presence is felt more acutely in these moments when we truly tend to one another? As if you are doing last minute shopping for just the right gift, can you imagine right now how you can, in the future, be a gift of hope, peace, joy, love, and light? letting these gifts flow through you to someone else. It may be as simple as finding opportunities to speak an encouraging word, or as complex as actually lifting up someone's circumstances through volunteering or donating. In this prayerful present moment, we ask you, Christ Jesus, the greatest gift of all, 
to help us savor this moment of celebration of Christmas. Help us recognize and create moments of sweet presence rather than filling the voids with the things that do not last. Help us to stop, notice what we are experiencing, and accept it with open hearts and minds. In doing this, we allow you to meet us in the right here, right now, right where we are. Amen. And now let's play the Christ prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Ushers, please collect the offering. On this day that has become synonymous with gift giving, let us reflect on the gifts of love, hope, joy, and peace. Let us respond to the generosity of the giver of all things beautiful. Let us give generously to share God's beauty in our community. The Gold Can, the United Church of Christ Christmas Fund. The Christmas Fund has been caring for active and retired clergy and lay employers of the United Church of Christ for over 100 years, providing emergency grants, supplements, supplementation of small annuities, and health premiums. And Christmas thank you gift checks each December to our lower income retirees. You may also give your offerings online, at our website, or mail into the church. Many thanks for your generosity. And let us pray. Generous God, we give thanks for all the beautiful resources you have given to us. Let these gifts bring glory and honor to you and beauty and peace to your creation.
I want to invite us to get our candles ready to be lit, remembering that when the light comes to you, the unlit candle bends toward the lit candle for lighting. But before we move immediately to sharing the light, I want us to take a moment to sit and enjoy the gift of darkness. Darkness is holy. It was in the dark of the night that Jesus was born from the dark of a womb. Our lives might not always feel calm or bright, but that does not mean that God is not present. It means that God is growing something within us, just waiting to be born. Too often we rush out of the times when we aren't sure what is next for us. But if we sit with the darkness for a moment, our eyes begin to adjust, helping us to see more clearly. May we give ourselves the gift of time and room this season to be present without judgment to what is, to just be present. If you are comfortable doing so, take a deep breath with me. The, the choir will lead us in to Silent Night with a little uh, song called Peace, Peace. So maybe M Mary and Ashley can kind of direct when the congregation comes in with Silent Night.
Friends, the carol is over. But again, let us not rush to leave before we take in this moment fully the gift of light of incarnation. God with us always cannot help but spread. As we look around at the faces lit by our candles, what is revealed is the abundance of gifts that we are given, the presence of community, of each other. We are not alone, and we are deeply grateful. The good news of Jesus Christ is that God is with us, no matter what, no matter where, no matter when. There is no place you can go where God is not, no time of the day when God is off the clock. This is the teaching of the incarnation, God with us, Emmanuel. Thank you for your presence here tonight. What a gift. When you leave, we have a little gift for you about mindfulness practices. So now go and be truly present in the world so you may be a gift of presence for others. That's all that is expected. The gift that is you is the best gift you can give. In the name of the Holy Presence, the divine gift and the spirit of light that is just waiting for us to unwrap abundant life. Merry Christmas. Amen. Thank you.